Hello, fourth graders. Welcome to lesson 4.2. Today, we're going to talk a little bit about estimating, but first, we're going to talk about food. What is your favorite food, and how much of it do you think you can eat? Oh, man. Yep. I've got to pick those donuts that you see on that screen right there. Donuts, absolutely. I really like sushi, too. Um, why am I asking about food? Well, you'll find out in a little bit. First thing we're going to talk about, though, is estimating with multiplication problems. Now, we've talked about estimating before when we did um, estimating sums and differences, right? And when we did that, we rounded. Let's, let's just draw one of those problems just for fun here. Right. If we wanted to estimate 484 plus uh, 312, what we did was we rounded each one of these numbers to the highest place value. And then we added them up. So our estimate here was 800. Estimating products is going to be similar. We are going to take the highest place value and we are going to round that place value. So right when i draw an arrow over here the four does not shove the two so i have 200. four is just a four right you can't round a four it's just a four so we keep that single digit the same 200 times four now we can use our um rule that we talked about last time where we cross out the zeros two times four is eight and then we need to put back our two zeros so our estimate here is 800. Then if we do the problem, I'm going to pull up a calculator here because we're going to be using a calculator. I'm not 100% sure that you can see it on my screen. Um, if you can't, I'm typing in 249 times 4, and that equals 996. And I can see that my answers are in the same ballpark. Now, are they as close as they were when we were adding? No because multiplying, <clears throat> there's a, uh, gonna be a lot more difference, but they are in the same ballpark, right? Meaning they're both in the hundreds place. If I had had an estimate of 8,000, then that would not work, right? So we need to ask questions and uh, to decide whether or not our answer that we get, right? This answer is reasonable. And in order to be reasonable, it needs to be close to our estimate. All right. Uh, let's do this one here together. So we're going to round each one of these numbers. So 28, is that going to round to 20 or 30? It is going to round to 30, and so is this one. Okay, so I need to cross out the zeros. Then you are going to multiply 3 times 3 and then put two zeros on that. What do you get when you multiply three times three and then put two zeros on the end? You get 900. And now when I type it in on my calculator, which I'm doing, and I hope that you can see it, but I'm not sure, I get an answer of 700. So these are in the same ballpark, right? They're in the hundreds place. It makes sense that our answer is smaller because we had to round both of these numbers up. Right, so our estimate is a little larger than our answer, but they are it's it's a reasonable answer because it's pretty close to our estimate. All right, last one here. I would like you to do this one. Uh, you're going to round each number. Now, when you do round, make sure you round to the highest place value, okay? And then you're going to multiply these together. All right, your turn. Go ahead. Okay, let's see what we did here. We rounded this to 400. This one was a little tricky. If you round this up, well, then you would have 10 groups of 10. 10 groups of 10 is 100. So 400 times 100. Wow, look at all these zeros. Four zeros to cross up. So four times one is four. And then I need to put all four zeros back. Okay, let's multiply it on the calculator now. 365 times 96, and the answer is 35,040. Now, you tell me, why is this a reasonable answer? Why? 
okay, that is a reasonable answer because it's close to our estimate, right? Now, I know it's like 5,000 away, but in the in the grand scheme, it's still in the same ballpark, right? It's not up in the 100,000 spot. Uh, that would be a problem. All right. Let's do one more here. Rem I just want to remind you that if you have a single digit, you can just keep that single digit. This is going to round to 5,000, and we would get 45,000 here. So this is how we round these. Now, we can, uh, here's our, our objective, right? I don't know if I've mentioned the standard that goes with it. We're making estimates, and we're evaluating whether they're reasonable. And you can see, actually, in our standards, we have uh, this question here where, where, we, where mathematicians are asking themselves, is my answer reasonable? And that is definitely what we're doing. All right, we're going to talk about um, what Americans eat. So uh, here's a, just a moment here for you to look through. This is a list of how much food uh, the average American eats in a year. Now, the average American, are you going to eat exactly these amounts? No, right? But that's just an average. Some people more, some people less. So I'll give you a minute to uh, take a look at that. It's quite interesting. And so let's use some of this information in some word problems. About how many pounds of bananas might our class eat in a year? Okay, so we have some thinking to do here. First, we need to find pounds of bananas. There it is, 25 pounds of bananas. Then you need to know how many students are in our class. Right now, uh, as I'm making this, we have 24 students. Right, because this is going to be a big number. So we're going to be multiplying 24 students times 25. Okay, so let's grab a, a separate screen here. When we round these, 24 times 25, we're going to round them to the nearest 10, right? So 20 times 30, we're going to cross off our zeros. 2 times 3 is 6, 600. And then we're going to check the answer also, 24 times 25, typing it in on the calculator. Wow, look at that. That usually never happens. Uh, and so we ask ourselves, is our answer reasonable? Well, of course it's reasonable. Not only is it close, it's exactly the same. That has never uh, happened in all of the times that I've ever taught this lesson, that it would be exactly uh, the same. So there you go. It's a lucky day. Okay, let's look at one more here. About how many eggs might a family of four eat in a year? All right, wow. So we've got uh, and how many eggs and a family of four in a year? So where's our eggs? There's our eggs. 249 eggs. A family of four in a year, right? So so this is actually gonna be a two-step problem because we have 249 eggs, but we have four people. So let's deal with that first. 249 times four. All right, I want you to round this number. Don't round the four, round that number and then multiply. What is your estimate, estimate? Okay, you should have had 800, here's why. 200 times four equals 800. But we're not done, because that's how many a family of four would eat. Oh yeah, that is, that is, that's it, that's the end. We don't need to multiply again. Sorry, I was thinking like oh, that's in a day, but that wouldn't make sense. So we are finished here, right? There was a one step problem, 800 eggs. So now let's find the actual answer. 49 times 4, and I'm expecting my answer here to be bigger because I had to round this number down quite a bit, um, but that's still, still going to be in that same ballpark. There it is, 996. So when you have a word problem, you're doing the same thing, right? You just have to think about what it is that you're going to add. Now, the, there is no math journal page. Instead, you will be receiving this. It's called Estimating Products. You will write an estimate, right? Don't You don't need to write anything up here. 
you're going to write down here. Okay. And I know this line is going to move. In fact, if you want to, as you're working, if you want to erase these lines as you go, you can, and then type your estimate right here, right? So this would be 20 times, let's see, 57 would be 60. Okay. Kind of like that. All right. And then there are two word problems down here as well. Okay. Where you're going to estimate, then use a calculator. Uh, you have a calculator on your Chromebook and then decide if your answer is reasonable. You're going to be typing in these um, lines down here. And then there's one on this page as well. That is what you are working on today for lesson 4.2. If you need uh, help with anything, our goal here today was to estimate products. Uh, and we have then been deciding whether they are reasonable. Okay. If you need help with anything, be sure to reach out to me and good luck.